I had two older brothers who were artists, and my dad painted as well. So uh, I'd always go into a gallery if I was in a town or something. I wouldn't say I keep up to date with contemporary Irish art, or I, 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 I'm not an anorak like that, but I appreciate it and I, I like it. A big buzz of mine is lights and sound, you know. Now, there's not much sound off a picture, but there's a lot of, you can get the lighting out. And I think, you know, the, in the Henry work as well, it's, it's that the way he lights up the village in the middle there. And it's, it's almost like he's, it's, do you know that? Like, it's, it is very much like an Irish scene. I look at the weather changing in Ireland. I know I live in County Limerick and I look across at the Clare Hills. It saddens me at times to have to look that direction and not towards Tipperary. But you can see the light, you know, coming like almost uh, biblical through the clouds onto this, portion of the hill and that. Now he's done that with the village and the area and it's amazing his use of colour and the way the black, the mountain, the background is darker. It's almost kind of punky in a sense of the colour. You know, even like a, it's an old painting, but it's quite radical and dark. The, the, the darkness of that big purple and then the, two, the clumps of turf at the front and the, you know, his he's use of colour is quite radical in that sense. Uh, but then it all accentuates the light and it brings you right in, you know. And the simplicity of his brush strokes as well. He does, you know, he doesn't use too many brush strokes. It's kind of, you know, so it's everything's important to him. But so it's kind of simple enough too, in a sense. You know, and the image is simple. The whole thing is simple, but it's dynamic. And the lighting, I always look at lighting in in, in pictures and that because it's an interest of mine. But I love it from that point of view. It's a simple, and it's, I suppose from the time when it was painted, it was probably very, uh, and it still is like that, rural communities and small little, little areas. If you've ever traveled, and, and Irish people are great for traveling, when you get home, you, you do see those colors and those shapes, and you know, and, and I suppose when you're away, it's, it does evoke a kind of a sense of Ireland whether it be a romantic sense of Ireland or not, I don't know, but it's, it, it does evoke that kind of uh, emotional tie to the, the land and, and to, you know, to the culture and the small little village and small communities. And it's what Ireland is about in lots of ways, small, small little areas and communities and stuff like that. You know? We can all bang on about the harshness and the hardness of Ireland and the, recession and the famines and the misfortune and everything else. And there's no doubt about it, there's loads of all that and the priest ridden Ireland and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, there's, there is a nice, uh, there is a nice side to rural Ireland. And I think that painting depicts a, a, a lot of that, that kind of, that nostalgia, I suppose, is the word, you know. And uh, it's nice to have a bit of nostalgia every now and again.